In this video, we'll be checking out Marina Bay Sands' mall during the Christmas season here in Singapore. They have some Christmas themed decorations up and also some events to celebrate the holiday. Actually, just outside the mall, there's a artificial area where you can experience snow and also a frozen toboggan track. We didn't go into that one, however, since you have to pay. Inside the mall itself, there are some special decorations to celebrate the season. The shops have some special Christmas themed offerings as well. On the bottom here, you can see PS Cafe, which is a Singaporean restaurant. It's simulating high-end Western cuisine. They have quite a few locations around Singapore and are usually found in higher-end areas like MBS. If you have a chance, I do recommend to visit the Apple Store here. It's unique because the entrance is inside the mall but part of it is a sphere that rises above the water in Marina Bay. So the entrance actually goes under the water and ends up resurfacing in Marina Bay. Bacha Coffee is a high-end chain of coffee in Singapore. It's not actually from Marrakesh, that's just some clever branding to get tourists to pay more. One of the key attractions of Marina Bay Sands' mall is the canal, so you can take a short ride around the center atrium. Above the boat, there's a huge bowl of water. There's also a show where this water actually spills into the canal below. So this area is pretty cool because if you get a seat in this area, you also get to see this water show in addition to the gondolas and the canal. When the show happens, you'll get to see that uh, the water will start dropping from the glass dome in the ceiling. You can actually go above this area. So this is in front of Marina Bay Sands and then you can watch the water show from the top of the dome as well. For those that may not know, Marina Bay Sands also has a casino inside. It generates quite a lot of revenue. Uh, there are a lot of tourists, uh, a lot from China and the surrounding regions that actually come to play here in Marina Bay. Actually, the name Marina Bay Sands, specifically the Sands part of the name, comes from the uh, Las Vegas Sands Corporation. They're famous for building the Venetian, the uh, most recently opened sphere in Las Vegas. And they also have quite a few properties in Macau. I grew up in LA, so we went to Las Vegas pretty often just on long weekends. And the mall here in Marina Bay Sands reminds me of something like Caesar's Palace. There's all these high-end malls that most people can't afford, but then there's also reasons for the average person to come here, such as most uh, affordable or more affordable food, and also just to window shop. For most residents of Singapore, the mall area is probably where they go the most. The hotel is located in another part of the mall right after the casino. And usually that's just for the guests or perhaps if you have somebody visiting Singapore, you might take them to visit that. And right now we're just passing by TWG. That's the, uh, it's similar to Bacha Coffee. It's also a homegrown brand here in Singapore. Uh, they both have gold as their theme. 
they look pretty cool and that's just to entice some you know uh, tourists to come in actually what's interesting is I've also seen that in KL uh, Kuala Lumpur Malaysia and it seemed to be pretty popular with the uh, crowd over there as well So usually if you come to Marina Bay Sands and if you want to save a bit of money, you can go to the food court here in this area. The food court is cheaper than most other places in Marina Bay Sands is mall, but it's still way more expensive than a food court outside of Marina Bay Sands. One thing that's challenging in this area is that it's pretty full. There's tourists and then there's also sometimes local people that sit here and it's really hard to find a table. So you just have to kind of get lucky or just wait it out. Uh, just wait until somebody leaves. We got super lucky here and found a table. One of the affordable things here is actually the beverages. Everything else is probably at least 1.5 times more expensive out than outside this uh, Marina Bay Sands area. I ended up getting a Nasi Lamak and uh, my girlfriend got some dim sum. So came out to around 30, 40 bucks total, including drinks. So it'd probably be a fraction of that outside. But you know, if you're in Marina Bay Sands, you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> 